Hey guys, so uh, after I set up the uh, smart uh, smart Wi-Fi, I was able then to get into the uh, inner uh, settings setups of the router. So I just want to run through those real quick with you. Uh, first thing you have is, um, I guess the first, first screen you come to is kind of a dashboard. Kind of gives you your home networking, your network status, your wireless, your guest networking, uh, those sort of um, different uh, parental controls, storage, media pr prioritization, uh, those sort of things. So let's just run through uh, some of the the different uh, settings here. I'll show you what you got. So you got a network map. So we've got uh, a couple of different uh, network devices that are, are connected up. I should have I should have a total of uh, actually four devices hooked up right now to the hardware ports. Um, I'm actually only seeing, uh, I guess one is a, uh, is a ganged device, so that's probably okay. Uh, guest access, so this is uh, will allow you to create a guest uh, network ID. So this is something that if you want to allow visitors to have um, slightly less uh, less internet uh, access or you don't want them to be able to access your home server those sort of things you can turn this on and uh, set the guest passwords and whatnot uh, and to allow them to um, to get some access there and you can set how many guests you want to allow on and that sort of thing Right. parental controls so this will allow you to restrict access on different devices um, based on looks like time and um, between specific time always or never media prioritization uh, devices so uh, devices that are going to be streaming sort of like your Roku or your TV um, your Apple Apple TV, those sort of devices would want uh, uh, media prioritization. Cancel that. Uh, we can run a speed test. You can see how uh, pathetic my internet connection here is. I'm uh, actually on what's called Blue Ridge Cable, and uh, they are charging me an arm and a leg for 17 and a half megs down and ooh, are we going to go over one and a half megs yep just about two megs uh, per second so uh, without anything else running on my network uh, these are the speeds that I get through Blue Ridge Cable I really don't recommend them at all all right let's continue on uh, external storage this would be your ability to set up a media server uh, if you have an external storage device hooked up uh, would be a hard drive or something that you could use through that eSATA port on the back or your uh, USB 3.0 drive. Um, it could be very useful especially if you have a connected TV. So some of your router settings here we can go through and we can actually change our network name uh, some of the passwords which are shown in clear here. Um, your router password for getting logging into your router. Time zone, uh, firmware update being automatic, and activity lights. So if you want to turn your lights on and off, um, just to reduce the amount of light in the room. Internet set settings, you can set the type, uh, any if you want to clone an IP address or something like that, or a MAC address. Uh, some of the details, your DHCP server. If you want to have some static routes, uh, having specific servers on uh, specific IP addresses could be very useful. Your uh, virtual LAN ports. And uh, this would be some admin st stuff like uh, uh, access and uh, gateways, 
and those sort of things. Continuing on, you're troubleshooting. This is the uh, showing you the devices that are on right now and what's connected and how. So diagnostics, so you can ping IP addresses, uh, firmware, and here's some logs. Got. Then we have the wireless, so this is where you could go in to change your uh, wireless name, password. You want the SSID broadcast or not, mixed mode, channel widths, so on and so forth. Security side gives you a little bit of firewall protection, VPN, and allows for filtering uh, on the internet side. And the DMZ, if you want to have something inside or outside the DMZ, to uh, demilitarize zone and basically has puts it on the outside of the firewall. Uh, it is useful in um, for servers and those sort of things. And uh, some uh, oh, this would be your uh, DDNS, so uh, dynamic naming service, um, and port forwarding. If you have any of that set up. And open VPN. This would be how you could get into your uh, your home network through a VPN system if you have one set up. All right, guys. So that is every single menu available uh, through the D link. Or sorry, the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi WRT thirty two hundred ACM. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comments. Uh, and I'd love to answer them for you. All right, guys, have a great one. Take care.